Okay, so it turns out there was some kind of weird glitch. I don't know what the hell happened. Um, but I've reset it to where now it's at 35 bucks, which is um, my current balance on PayPal. Um, like I said before, at 100, I'll do Earthworm Jim, 200, Super Mario Brothers 3. And at the full donation, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. I also have some Ooh. subscriber milestones where at 500, I do Mega Man X, 600 is X2, 700 X3, um, 800 Yoshi's Island. And I say that as soon as I got my ass kicked. That's the first thing that happens as soon as I get back into playing this fucking game. Relatable. <laughs> get down. All right. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Damn it. Let's he was a not play. The speedy boy. Speedy speed boy. Da 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 da. Thinking of streaming Doom after you get a new processor? Uh, maybe. I forgot Ooh. what the name in the emulator is for MS-DOS games. Like, I know that there is a Doom uh, release for Steam, but sometimes I like to go old school with a lot of things. Um, I'm also certain that uh, there's a uh, channel that Peter likes watching called uh, Lazy Game Reviews, and he's really, really big on old school uh, computer games. I will say... At some point in your life, you need to play the 2016 version of Doom, because, oh, it's so good. It is, huh? It's so good. It has everything that you loved about the first Doom, which is basically killing a whole bunch of demons indiscriminately with a bunch of fucking weapons and goofy-ass power-ups. <laughs> and it's you... so brutal. Oh, you mean like the BFG? Oh, yeah, you get the BFG like halfway through the game, and you just tear through ass with it. Let's see, have you played Doom 2? Uh, the MS-DOS Doom 2? Because I have played that. It's a continuation from the first one. Yeah, Doom Eternal is based off of Doom 2, so... Hoo-hoo, boy. Because, like, the first... The, the 2016 release of Doom is essentially just, like... A ultra remaster of the first one. And Doom Eternal is kind of the second one, so... Come on. Come on. Well, then, stand on the right side and let the bomb jump out. Damn it! Back. Wait, oh, oh, I survived it. Oh, shit. What Damn. is this sorcery? That's weird. I thought that I would get my ass kicked afterwards. Golden, right. stand on the right side of the pod instead of the left. So that way you can get to the lasers faster. All right, there it goes that. There we go. Okay, you made it Stage there, is now it. beaten. Woohoo! Yep, I got another little guy. Got a little wee lad. Uh, thoughts on not being able to download ROMs from Emu Paradise. I never got the chance to download what? ROMs. Oh, like that, God damn it! Which is sad, but it is just kind of dumb it was taken down. I, very, very yeah, dumb. no, I kind of, uh, I'm a little sad that's taken down, but I never really... Like, I know there are other places you can get ROMs. You so can, I'm not that's why I do them. Google. I don't, like, rely on one website. Yeah. Like, I remember there used to be a cool ROM, and unfortunately they went through some unfortunate circumstances. The thing is, is that ROMs are often considered illegal unless you own a physical copy. And for the record, I own a physical copy of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Um, but nowadays, retro collecting, it's kind of difficult. Because there are some games that go for really high prices. And not to mention... Um, some of those uh, cartridges and um, system, not system, but consoles, eventually they'll just stop working. Like, there were some cartridges that I own that stopped working. Yeah. I That's mean, the thing in speedrunning, too, is just like. A lot of people say, oh, you should only be allowed to fucking do speedruns or, like, let's plays or whatever on, like, a. Well, typically speedruns because that's, like, world record type shit. 
But yeah, you should only be allowed to do speed runs if you have like a physical copy of the game. But like, a lot of the times that's not viable because a owning both the console and a physical copy of the game if you don't have that already can be fucking mad expensive. Yeah. It could. Like, <coughs> like if you want, if you wanted to like an, I don't know, you wanted to play like a fucking PS2 game that you haven't that you know hasn't been fucking made in like years decades even like first you gotta get a fucking ps2 you gotta make sure the ps2 actually works you gotta be able to make sure the fucking you got obviously like a capture card or something like that so you can record it fuck i was you gotta so make close sure, you gotta make sure that the copy of whatever game you have you gotta make sure that works too you gotta make sure that's in acceptable condition it just it just adds up from there like it's it's crazy yeah the biggest problem is just like the people in that market make jacking up the prices like like paper mario a thousand year door is like what 100 bucks on ebay it's something like that like part of it is understandable because it's like oh fucking you know there's only a limited number of these copies in the world and i have one of them so i'm not gonna let it go for just any old price that makes sense. And of course, not re-releasing those games in some format. There's some games that will, like, never get re-releases of any sort. Because, like, there are just some games that didn't do too well. Like, there are some games that, back then, they didn't do too hot, and they were flops, and the game can't come back because of that, because it's for marketing purposes. Like, for instance, Demon's Crest, which I thought was a really fun game for um, the Super Nintendo. The game um, itself, like, it was a marketing flop. There were a lot more returns than purchases. And because of that, um, Capcom would probably not want to release another, uh, like, another entry of that. And also just games that literally can't be re-released even if they wanted to do so, like... That just lost our original source code. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like apparently, I heard Silent Hill two and three were are victims of that. Mm. Oh boy. I mean, it would be nice, like, to think about the benefits of what could work well for. Um... I gotta focus here. Oh, this one's easy. Oh yeah, no, it's it takes a little bit of patience, that's all it is. Oh fuck. Oh wait. I hit the right one. Psych, you thought. Damn it! That's right, fucker, how do you like that? Oh they used, they used a lot of gen uh generic sound effects in this game. All right, let that bomb just explode. Damn it! Get up, get up, get up. Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous. Damn it! I've lost so many. Damn it. Come on, get up. Ah. At least he's facing the other way. There, okay. That's right, nerd. Ugh. I hope that creates enough time. There we go. Shit. I've lost most of the little guys. Damn it. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Okay, Golden, you ready? What, about the second part? Yeah, I know yeah, about I know. that. Oh. I have actually seen how it plays, though. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. it. 
I want you to go like, what the fuck? But you already know. You ruined the surprise. Hey, it helps me make progress in the game by practicing. But yeah, if you thought the game was kind of hard and annoying at first, just wait. <laughs> Their mistake was laughing at DK. Oh god! Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta save the little toads. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot about this part. Fucker. Okay, look, it's fucking OG Donkey Kong all over again. Shit. Going back to the basics. There, that sets him free. Oh, shit! Okay. What the? Where's the blue key? Yeah, just grab this one. Alright. Yeah, I used to appear there, but right where I was standing, it didn't. Like, do I have to be distant first? I think you have no, sometimes to... Sometimes he, he hits some random order, so he probably hit the red button. Oh. It's a possibility. I'm just glad that the barrels don't come down the fucking ladders anymore like they did in the OG game, because oh, oh, oh boy. Dude, hit the fucking blue switch. Thank you. Hit the blue switch, you idiot. That's right, the barrels can go in, like, whatever direction they want to go. Ugh. Oh, shit! Yeah, I remember you have no little guy health, so... Alright, so I gotta wait until I have a barrel, and then I have to climb my ass all the way up there. Yeah. Jesus. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, shit! Oh, man, it's coming this way. Like I said, these barrels, they, like, have a mindset of their own. They'll just come in whatever direction they want to come in. And yoink. I have to climb all the way up here without getting hit by one of those stupid spike barrel things. How is it that those things are rolling when there are spikes on the end? That doesn't make any sense. Magic. God damn it. Get up. At least I didn't lose a life. No! Ow! Oh! Well, at least the barrel doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, that would have made things a lot more difficult. Fuck! I missed! Uh, I'd like to point out, though, Mario is taking being impaled by a spike barrel fairly well, all things considered. Ugh. <sighs> trying to go over this gap here. Fuck you! Dick cheese. Oh! Damn it! How do you like getting barrels thrown at you? Uh, how? All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna duck out of this one a bit early. I got I'm gonna do my own thing. All right, you go ahead and do that. I'm watch I'm watching the Flash TV series on Netflix. It's freaking good. All right. Okay. So good luck to you, Golden. And if you pull your hair out, I <laughs> um yeah, you're probably gonna end up pulling your hair out. Gotcha. All right, now I gotta. All right, second toad is released. Yeah, I really don't like the toad voices, um, like after Mario Kart 64 and Mario Party, because for whatever reason, it went from like happy and joyful to just screeching and irritating. Hello! Yeah, why the fuck did they do that? I don't know. You know what else I learned about toads? Apparently, what? that shit on their head is not their head. It's actually just a hat. They're, like, all bald. Where'd you learn that? Because I, re I remember there was a fucking... Hang on. There was a fucking comic where, like, he had the hat in his hands and his head was just bald. I can't remember which one it was, though. It was... There was also... A fucking book. I'm not sure if the book was canon. Probably not. All things considered. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. But oh, god damn it. 
Oh no. Deja oh, vu. Yeah. I got hit by another giant one. Oh hell, you can just hit him from the bottom. Oh, oh yeah. No, that's that's a load of bollocks right there. We had to spend the effort to climb all the way to the top just to hit him. I would say once he falls down to the lower one, just hang up on top for a little bit. Give some so distance, and then he'll throw another barrel. Yeah, once he throws a barrel, then you move in the opposite direction. Okay, makes direction. sense. Because it looks like he'll always throw one that's closest to you, but if you wait for him to throw first, then you can move around it. Come on, hit the blue one. And yoink. All right. I don't know why, but that that freaking whatever her fucking name is from Kung Fu Kung Pao into the fist just pops right into my head. <clears throat> Ugh. That movie is like to me that movie is just underappreciated. Yes, it's stupid, but it's supposed to be. That's the idea. I haven't seen it, so. Oh. It's their language. It's their native language. What? I could just imagine that sound every time I'm jumping over those barrels. Whoa, barrels. Jesus! Keep forgetting that these damn barrels have a mindset of their own. It'll just be like, left to right, left to right. All right, I'll just put it here. Fuck you! I'm gonna give yourself some distance. Yeah. Whoa! That was a close one. <laughs> the big oof. The big oof, indeed. Alright, barrel's now coming back. Yoink. What? The? Oh. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, don't throw it down there. Now you gotta climb higher. Fuck. That's right. Fuck you. Fucking queef bag. They're bringing it over. Oh no! Oh, that was a close one. Jesus. Could have been worse. Damn it. Okay, and. That's right. Fuck you. This little pinky went to the market. This little pinky. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> They don't even bother to fuck around. They're just like, let go, fucker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to fall for it. They're rolling the credits. Not falling for it. I know, right? In before DJ before DK grabs the credit screen and throws it to the other side of the game. Mm-hmm. Is no one going to bring up how DK is justified in his anger towards Mario? I mean... Well, let's see. Eh. He went to the trouble of stealing all those freaking toys, made things a hassle for Mario on the Toads. I think they're in the right to laugh at DK for that shit. I mean, yeah, justified in getting angry, sure, but uh, not in kidnapping Toads and bringing them to the top of the fucking Empire State Building. Mm -hmm. I, think that's a, I think that's a little over the top there on DK's part. Yep. All right, let's continue. He falls down. Oh, and he hits right on top of a truck. I love that Mario goes to check and see if he's okay. <laughs> Good guy, Mario. The shit that he has to deal with. Yeah, I know about this part. This part is actually pretty easy. Um, it's a different, um, it's a different kind of, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. World one plus. Mm-hmm. Here, Here we go. All right. Oh, wait. There we go. Takes care of that. Let's activate him. Oh, that's right. I gotta... That's right. No, 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 no. Over here. Alright, now I'm gonna go activate that switch. Alright. Let's get you up here. And let's jump all the way over here. Let's have you chill up here for a bit. Let's throw you over here. Yoink! And... Boom. Already finished. Good job, little guy. <laughs> oh, cool. I got a star. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me see if I can get the... Uh... Oh, it's one of these. Shit. It's one of these boys. All right, so it's a 50-50 chance in the second half. Damn it! Well, at least I got one extra life. All right, let's get rid of these stupid oil drums. And apparently... Well, let me try to activate... No, 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 no. Come on, get up there. I got to uh let's let's figure this shit out. Let's throw you over here. Let's get down here, drop, and this little guy can go ahead and travel all the way over here. Activating that. Whew! That was a close one. Oh, that's right. I got to get the um I got to get the trash can. There we go. Alright, cool beans. Alright. It's just a matter of getting accustomed to this uh, this uh, mechanic. Yeah. No, well, I got another normal, gold star. <laughs> gold star for trying. Yeah. It reminds me of the pick on you with gold and a small pack of toys. Makes me wonder who would be the other Mario characters if Golden is Mario. Um, so who would be Luigi? Who would be Donkey Kong? Who would be Wario? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, god damn it! I got a stupid DK face. Whatever. These levels are fairly easy. I don't need no extra lives. Oh, that's an easy way to jinx yourself. All right, Oof. so I should take a look at the rest of the stage first. All right, I know what to do here. So are we talking about all Mario characters or just in this game? If it's just in this game, that's, that's pretty minimal. <laughs> all right, this is a fairly quick one. All right, so if I took... we're talking all Mario characters, then my answer is obviously going to be Gino. Oh, I went too far. Shit. Hang on, hang on. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Come here. Hang on. There we go. All right. Now... There we go. Come on. Okay, from the entire Mario canon, I'm not sure who would be Luigi, who would be Princess Toadstool. Got another gold star, let's see. Well, Kefren does have a peach butt. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. Oh, another one of these. Whoa. Oh, I think I saved it. 
Yay! I got two extra lives. Alright. Here we go! Alright, this is a little bit tricky. Whoa! Alright. I'll reach up there. Oh, I know what to do. I think he can make it through. Let me just activate here. All right, cool. He made it through. Now let's activate that. I'm coming down. All right. Up on the spring. Booyah. Yeah. Aeon or Terra can be Bowser. Eh. You know what? This probably sounds fucked up. I would imagine that Bliss would be freaking uh, Princess Toadstool and Aeon would be Bowser. To an extent. <laughs> I'm I mean, get... it makes sense. <laughs> <sighs> doesn't uh doesn't Peach like ha oh wait never mind. I'm trying to think if fucking uh, Legend of the Seven Stars was canon or not. Mm. Because technically it doesn't go against any of the established Nintendo canon. So no, it was all meant to be a joke anyway. So um, I would say who Bowser would be, but it would cause a lot of problems if I mentioned you know who. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the chat can, like, piece that all together. All right. Whoa, Jesus. No! Damn it! I missed the conveyor belt. No, Bliss is not a princess. Yeah, she'd probably kick your ass if she heard that. She would definitely be triggered. <laughs> this moment brought to you by the Lightning Bliss Show. <laughs> Whoa, careful, careful little guy. Oh, I know it has to be done. Um. Wait. He can actually, I think he could follow me here. Okay. Yes, he made the jump. Woohoo! Maybe Finn as Luigi. Uh, I don't know. The thing is, Finn is too much of a cinnamon roll for anything. And the things that Mario and Luigi do to a lot of enemies and such are like... If you, um, if you look at the uh, manual for the uh, first Mario Brothers, all those brick blocks, those were actual people. Yeah, that was... Yeah. That was a weird time. Phew. Bless you. Yeah, thanks. Like, seriously, imagine, like, Finn the Pony sees you on the side of the road. You have to, but you have to get to a place, and it's clear you're not getting a fast enough rig or injured. Of all the people to be like, hey, why don't, why don't you just ride on me? I'll take you to the place. It would be Finn, let's be honest. All right. Oh, I know what I have to do. Well, let me first take care of these fuckers. Doink. Okay. So. Let's activate him. I really see no point in those trash cans. Alright, let's get you down here. Oh, damn it! Ugh. Actually, I would see... I would see Thespio as Wario. Will Rio. Well, not just that, like, he's a freaking, um, he's nuts when it comes to playing Wario World on GameCube. He loves that game to pieces. Okay, so I see what those are there for. Kind of weird. 
Yeah, so I've like... been doing research for the like the past 10 minutes because now I'm really curious about this. And according to pretty much everybody, there is pretty much no such thing as an established Mario canon. It's just sort of, is it in the game? Then it exists. Oh yeah, no, it's um, uh, it's it's all like it really is all just um, just marketing stuff. Well, if that's the case, then yeah, definitely I would be Gino because he's a fucking possessed doll who turns his hands into guns. That sounds about as me as you can get. You'd be surprised, Wheel of Steel. See, but I made fan art of Golden as Yoshi once. Okay, I was like, I was drawn as Yoshi. I was drawn as Mario. Um, the whole Yoshi thing, I don't remember. Oh yeah, that was meant to be a joke. Ugh. Yeah, me as Kirby. Okay, I don't know which one is which. Just gotta guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a Donkey Kong face. Fuck. I'm also like not gonna lie, it was fun running the uh, the Kirby stream. Oh yeah, Kirby games are just a delight. Oh yeah, no, until they're fun to play, to, and not to mention until the... Until you get to the second part of it, and that's when you get to the nut-crushing part of the game. No, like, the the whole stream of, um... The whole stream of playing uh, Kirby Superstar was all... It was so hilarious. Yeah. You'll be dead the next time you see Bliss. Oh, that's right, somebody drew me as Link. Obviously. Uh, let's see. Kirby's Dreamland would be a pretty fun game to stream. Oh, on Game Boy? All, all the all the Kirby's Dream Land games, now that I think about it. Ow, you fuckface. Whoa, shit. Okay. Because I remember, uh... No! Ah! Uh, dear old Kirby's Dream Land 3. Oh, boy. There were some, uh... Wasn't that the last uh, game on uh, the Super Nintendo? I believe so. Kirby's Dream Land 3. That had... Yeah, that had like a twist. Well, not really a twist. It had some some really questionable design choices. Come not on, get bad, up. But just in ways you wouldn't expect. Like an eyeball that shoots blood Fuck! as an attack. <laughs> Tagged in a photo. Oh boy. This can only be from our shenanigans early today. All right. <laughs> uh, fucking asshole. Now I gotta go the other way around, again. Ha, joke's on you. Wow, what a douche. All right, one more hit and then, oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Ha, grabbed it just in, oh, you fucker. He briefly just hit the red switch and then just switched it around, like, not even a millisecond. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's a dick move. Yeah, fuck you! Ugh. To guess what time it is. What, Oreo time? It's ass-beaten time. <laughs> Hold on, is every character in Smash Brothers? You know, I wouldn't mind being drawn like a Pikachu because I use Pikachu in Smash Brothers Brawl. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode and then hopefully do another one. <laughs>